What's up, Sim Racers? This is Larry TJR Sim here, and today we're going to cover track IR. You'll see the little sensor right here on the top. Let me show it to you here. Hopefully, it's coming in the camera right there. That is the track IR sensor. Hope that came out looking okay. Back to, back to me. Let's see if I'm in the picture again. Yes, I am. So, uh, track IR, what is it? It is a head tracking system, as you see here. I got it. Uh, on from their website rather it's a head tracking system here you put a little uh, uh reflective uh metal rod on your uh, on your on your cap here i'm using my track junkie racing cap uh which you can get from my zazzle account but uh links below but anyway yeah you just clip this on and don't mind this i have a little extra uh velcro i forgot what i was doing with that but um long time ago but i've reviewed track ir actually quite a long time ago and uh beginning stages of my channel and actually i really enjoyed it it's it's really the introduction to vr is really what it is because uh, you still as you can see here on the screen you still get six degrees of freedom really the only thing that you're missing between track ir and vr is is setting in your environment and looking around right uh, in your environment now nothing beats vr for that right and uh, we're not, I don't think Track R would replace VR, but it is a great alternative uh, to VR, especially for those that get sick playing VR. Uh, also, if you're like me, I get tired of VR after a while. You know, I wear this big old headset right here, and um, and it and it works great, right? Let me make sure I get in the camera there. It works great. There we go. <laughs> Oculus Rift S, and I actually have a Reverb G2 on pre-order, and so I can't wait to get that to try it out, just to bump the resolution up, so it's easier on my eyes. But it works great; nothing beats VR, really. Uh, but after a while, this gets really hot, and you got to have a fan going over over to the side and uh, blowing on your face so you can stay cool all the time, and uh, it just gets really tiring on your eyes. So. I switched back to track IR, not permanently or anything like that, but started uh, looking at it again, pulled it out, and um, lo and behold, I was like, man, this thing is awesome, man. I forgot about this. Let me show my viewers this again. So uh, when you order a track IR 5 kit, you know, what you get is you get this track clip here. You get this little little uh, brim cap that'll, that'll clip to like your headsets and stuff, right? And these two sensors will light up. And this is really more for... If you're playing further away from your from your tracking device, uh, sim racers use this as well. Uh, I don't really use it. I've tried it, uh, but I don't like an extra cord hanging off of me uh, with my headset. So that's why I don't. That's why I don't use it. So I have great luck with this. I think in low lighting you might want to use this instead. Uh, but being that I have my own room now, I don't have to have low lighting. So, uh, but yeah alternative comes with this clip pro clip they call it so track IR is around 150 bucks let me scroll down here to some prices here so you'll see 150 bucks for track IR 5 and if you get the pro bundle kit you know you're 20 bucks more for that that clip right uh, I would suggest getting it just so you can try it out just so you have an alternative it's always good to have alternatives otherwise you would spend 35 dollars for just that pro clip however if you want to save the money uh, you don't need it. This is fine. This is what I've been using for years. So getting further into the track IR, you know, what does it cover here? Six degrees of freedom here. As you can see here, it, you know, covers your yaw, your head moving back and forth, your pitch, your head moving up and down, your roll side to side, your X, you know, like you're doing the, the genie, <laughs> uh, the Y where you're scrunching up and down and stuff, which you don't really do. Uh, that's where the pro clip would come in handy if you're uh, uh, doing some kind of a shooter game or something like that and the Z of course forward and backwards and stuff so being that I'm in a motion rig uh, you know I experience all of these axes uh, as anyways you know so it's it's cool that it keeps up with it uh, so I run with all all of them on however when I was in a static rig all I ran was with uh, was yaw and pitch uh, didn't mess with roll or anything like that uh, left uh, all those off, right? So it's just y'all and pitch is the only thing I use, and it works fine like that too. So, you know, going into you know how well this thing tracks, is it any good? Does it keep up? Does it stutter? Uh, anything like that? No, it's really precise. It works just as well as your VR headset does. 
uh, so if it's not hot <laughs> and you don't have something on your face all the time right you just put it on a ball cap you're good to go uh, it tracks really well it has a field of view of 51.7 is what it's saying here on the, on, on the uh, on the website 640 by 480 resolution doesn't need to be higher than that anyway works great 120 FPS 9 milliseconds response time to me that seems kind of slow in this day and age where you got one millisecond monitors and stuff like that um, you'll never notice notice the difference when you're in the car driving around moving your steering wheel and looking side to side uh, you don't notice the difference so it works really really well uh, so let me see reporting resolution 96,000 by 72,000 this is 1850 sub pixels uh, sampling rate 120 FPS like we talked about weight 1.8 which is just the sensor up there uh, let's see connection USB now that sensor up there that I pointed to earlier uh, which is here you see on the screen it comes with the USB you just plug it in USB point 1.0 or 2.0 uh, connection rather doesn't need 3.0 nothing fancy uh, it does have uh, articulating as you see here uh, it articulates and, and you can move the mounts in and out and stuff let me show you so uh, you know this can move up and down these can move in and out that can spread I just have it set in here though so I think hopefully that came in the camera when I just showed you that briefly but uh, yeah works good works really good I actually recommend it if you are someone that's tired of using VR and uh, and and just need something different right some alternative you know I thought about going to three screens triples uh, Odyssey G7 came out and I said man how cool would that be with three triples right uh, but however I was like let me just use my VR I mean my uh, track IR with my 34 inch screen and see how I get along so here's the program so after you you buy it and you download the program for free um, this is what you get and I'll go big screen here for you so as you can see here I'm moving left and right up and down we see forward and backwards that dilly thing I think it's up and down right yeah up and down uh, all works pretty well and you'll see that the thing will blink a light on and off uh, if you if it's losing track uh, tracking and stuff being that you're setting static in a rig it's not really an issue uh, but over here to the left some things that you may want to keep in mind is profiles so I have this little button called exclusive clicked on right all that means is that whatever profile I have here whether it be the default the one-to-one, -one, the smooth, try them all out and see what you like. Uh, if I click exclusive, it's going to keep that one as exclusive every time I open up the program again, right? Now, you will want to close the program. You know, whenever you close the program, it'll save that as your next opening one, right? Um, so, let's say smooth, right? I got smooth, and I'm not centered. Even though I'm looking uh, forward, you see this little circle here that is your center of this and you can map something here right here it says key one uh, if I click this uh, enter desired hotkey I can say maybe my space bar right and so boom hit my space bar reach over to keep my head still right reach over hit my space bar and it centers up for me whatever you want to set uh, you can do um, and then you know hit save boom you're done you keep it uh, and if you want this profile to load up all the time exclusive then it, that's what it'll load up uh, now down here you see these little those little angle bars and stuff I don't ever mess with them there's slopes and stuff of how, how how gradual the roll comes in I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to use this exactly uh, because I've messed with it a long time ago and honestly I didn't see much effect as far as sim racing goes you know it was just it, it works but it wasn't worth my time to dive into it to precisely make something a little bit better because it was already so good out of the box anyways uh, so I don't mess with that at all now what I do is come over here and I created a I'm sorry right here smooth I created a racing profile I don't want to update the other one and if you want to create a new profile you can just click on this little plus sign there 
and then it says new profile you know replace it type in whatever you want i called mine racing and uh and then set all these the way you want and i have it as like a flat curve there it works great for sim racing i don't need it as a smooth curve i don't need whatever but if you like the way your head tracking is and in, in in these other other situations like smooth or whatever like that if you oh, oops let me switch to it smooth if you like the way that feels when you're looking through the car turn your head like this or whatever use that as your default and save as you know and go from there so anyway just some options you can use i use racing i hit exclusive that way it loads up every single time now whenever you put on your ball cap and you got it here lined up you'll notice that i'm not quite centered and you'll want to go ahead and click your hotkey to center up now you don't really have to do that before you launch a game or anything like that you map it in the game like vr and uh that'll be your centering mode right uh so pretty pretty easy one thing i want to point out to you guys and uh three gals that may be watching is <laughs> the speed right here uh the point three now you can change this this as i go up so i keep my head centered right if i was to put this i think default is one and uh let me center it here so as soon as i move over i'm all the way at negative 90 you know at around 45 degrees looking to the right or the left right oh, about 75 degrees right there i'm looking at my peripheral right uh if i was to move this all the way down to negative one recenter you notice how slow how much range i cover now it is very minimal right so you can set this thing up crazy you can, you can have it basically when you just barely turn your head you're looking at 180 degrees behind you right uh so for you know what does that tell you for sim racing or, or what do you need to use for sim racing uh i use three i'm sorry yeah is it three let me see what do i use i three i think three uh, let's see default go back to my racing oh two i use two okay uh what's smooth set at smooth oh it just keeps it no matter what anyway i use two recenter and that's pretty close to as far as i like it to pan because when you're using track track r your screen that you, as you see here is panning right and you only got so much of your peripheral that you can you can see from so two to three is max uh, point three is is pretty good. You can almost when you're driving along uh, and you looked to the side like side of here uh, Out of your peripheral here. You can see the uh, The car completely, you know the side the car car coming up on to the side of you, right? Uh, two is is probably more realistic as far as How far you probably would actually turn your head just to look to see if a car is coming up uh three is probably the max i would go go with but um try it out you, you're gonna you form your own opinions this is just what i use right smoothness here is 10 i leave it at 10 works good uh it's just how smooth it transitions you know between things as as far as i'm understanding what it does uh but yeah works good so that pretty much explains the track ir it's just an alternative to vr uh, it actually came out, I don't even know if it came out before VR or not, but I certainly was using it way before VR uh, came out. So I like it, enjoy it a lot. It'd be a lot of fun with triples as well. Although triples with the side screens, you know, you got the peripheral going on. You really don't have to use track R for those. You just turn your head and see the car beside you. Uh, but so it's really good for a nice wide screen like this 34 inch uh, Alienware that I'm using. If you had a 49 inch, oh, that'd be even better. Uh, to uh, do it because you're already covering so much more you got a 49 inch screen you might have to put the speed down to 0.1 because you really don't need to turn completely to see the out the side window of your car maybe too much uh, so the speed is something you'll play with because you, when you're naturally reacting and looking real quick uh, if the speed's turned up too high that might be too fast on, of movement on the screen and be disorientating to you so uh, that's why i use 0.2 <clears throat> anyway I'm going to jump into Automobilista 2 now. Uh, oh, real quick, titles here. It pretty much comes working with all the major titles, uh, ACC, t ACC, AC, iRacing, R Factor, uh, AMS. Uh, it doesn't show AMS 1 here, R2, 
However, it does work in AMS too. Uh, the trick to that, which I looked, went and looked on the forums real quick, was uh, uh, you just load VR uh, through Steam uh, and uh, load it up that way, and it'll recognize this as if it's a VR cap uh, or VR headset rather, and uh, works fine. Uh, go to the helmet cam view of your car and AMS2. Boom, you're done. So good stuff. So let's roll into checking it out in game uh, real quick. All right, so real quick, like I said, let me uh, open this up a little bit bigger, full screen. Open up Steam. You know, uh, we're going to play some Automotive List of Two real quick, and I'm going to show you how to launch it with the track R, of course, running and stuff. So you just hit play. And you want to pick the uh, launch automobilista 2 in steam vr mode and hit play let her rip potato chip and while it's doing that i'm going to go ahead and load up my ms2 cloud setting from uh, sim experience and i don't really need my headsets on all right so we're in here let me go ahead and go to options, audio. I'm going to turn this volume all the way down to five. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. Now, AMS2 for some reason, or two, AMS2 for some reason, um, it gets very sketchy uh, when you're trying to record and show something in video. So I might not go out into the track to show you too much, but I do want to show you the head tracking here real quick. So let's pick uh one of the new tracks here hockenham is out i love it it's great one of my favorite tracks out there so a uh, really good nice free addition uh to ams2 so partial match found in sim experience database right. profile modified so that's just sim experience telling me that there is a profile out there for it now so okay getting on to what's going on here you can see that I have the headset moving left and right, uh, forward and backward. Scrunch down, you know, if I wanted to, scrunch up. Now, obviously, going up depends on how high up your sensor is. If you're, if you got a low-profile monitor like this widescreen I have, you, you can go out of the range of it. Uh, right now, I see both of the two LEDs lit up there uh, on the uh, on the sensor there itself. So, uh, let me see. Well. You'll just have to believe. Anyway, uh, but I am in helmet cam view. So let me just show you. If you go over to options here, uh, camera, configuration, uh, you can turn your, your show helmet on and off. But this is the view you have to be in for it to work with track IR, as you can see in the screen. Uh, look to apex. I leave it at 50 right now. You can actually, of course, put that down to zero, which just means for AMS2, just kind of like it is Project Cars 2, as you come to the corner, it automatically pans the camera slightly so you can see the apex of, of the corners and stuff. It kind of helps you out a little bit. Uh, 50 is probably as high as I would go. Uh, obviously, you can leave it off. Uh, but uh, helmet leaning and camera leaning uh, doesn't really matter uh, there. So actually, I think, I'm, I think I like around 40. Uh, I've been trying 50 for a little bit. But uh, you'll find that when, when it goes too much, you feel like you lose control of looking through the corner. So uh, anyway. Let's go out on track real quick and I'll just show you, hopefully, I know it'll be a little bit jittery, but uh, you know, hopefully, uh, just bear with me for a couple little laps here. <laughs> and I'll, all right. So as you can see, you can look around and stuff real fine. This is with point two, right? So I'm turning my head, you know, about 45 degrees and I'm seeing completely out the side window which is great. Uh, that's enough to where my peripheral, I can see what's going on ahead. It's not like you spend a lot of time looking at your side windows, right? But you do want to check them to see what's going on. So, um, I don't have my headphones on, so I can't hear what's going on, but go on through here. It feels very natural to use uh, Track IR. Uh, because you know you like I want to check the mirrors real quick you can check your mirrors real quick you don't have to wait for the camera to snap by hitting uh, look left look right but uh, for it which is always I don't know unnatural to me to actually have to do that and uh, I may be busy turning my wheel at the time and I wanted to look further over there to see what's going on 
motion's kicking me here. Uh, so yeah, it uh, works really good. I like it. Uh, as you can see here on screen, and I know it's going to be a little jittery for you to see. Uh, bear with me. It's just this game. There's the only game that does it. But yeah, good stuff. Uh, that's at two. Uh, obviously, the higher you go, you know, the more it's going to pan the screen over uh, for you. So yeah, it just depends on what you want, your preferences. So I think this pretty much covers, you know, all about track IR without making this video too long. I can sit here and actually leave it rolling and play this dang game forever because uh, I really, really like AMS too. So, uh, but anyway. Until next time, I hope you enjoy this look at Track IR. It's not necessarily a review, just wanted to reintroduce Track IR to, to the channel. Did a review a long time ago. I, you know, as if I was a safer review, I highly recommend Track IR uh, for you to try out. It's pretty inexpensive uh, toy to have to just mount up to any brim of a cap. And it makes it easy for when you have people come over and they want to feel kind of like what VR is and uh but uh have that you know being able to look around and all that so works really good especially for a, a one screen setup triples uh you know adds a little bit more to it as well but i don't think you'd probably need it with triples uh but a single screen works really cool like that so that way you can set your field of view correctly on your triple screen and then just pan your head to look around as you see here in the background going on so uh good stuff good stuff so anyway check out the link below i'll have a link to the amazon link here for the uh track ir and uh until next time we'll see you on the track i'm out all right just real quick i wanted to show you uh track IR real quick in uh set of corso so thanks for sticking in to the end of the video uh, a little bonus here you can see a set of corso working for a an ams uh, i'm sorry ams dude set of course competition with track ir this is what it looks like let me start my car. So it works good, very smooth uh, looking around. This is with a point two. So if I had a point three going on for uh, the speed rather, when I look out the left here, you know, I would see instead of just what you see here, it would be of course further over to the left, right? So it works, works really good. Installed the engine. Gotta use the clutch a little bit to get going. Uh, this game here too can do the auto look, I think. Let's see if it does it automatically. I think I have it set. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, you can turn it on and off where you have it hands over and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, it works works really well, as you can see. Uh, now, if you go to different views, it works as well uh, with Track IR. Uh, you don't have to just be in the helmet cam view. Actually, the helmet cam view, oddly enough, doesn't even work with the track IR. Uh, so that's weird, but all the other views do work with the track IR. So, you know, it is what it is, but this one is officially, uh, even works with, you know, all these other 3D views, or the external views, you know. So, uh, this is just a look at, you know, how smooth it actually does work in view. Um, I like it, pretty fun. I'm going to continue racing here. I'm just going to have some fun and it'll pan on out. Uh, so until next time, I'm out. See you again.